The UNI football team gets ready to go on the road to take on South Dakota State. Both teams ranked in the top 10, and Coach, you're coming off another victory. How impressive is that, that the Missouri Valley Football Conference now has four teams in the top 10? That just is a testament how tough this conference is. Well, we, we all say it, but uh, when you get this late in the season and you have that high of a ranking for that many teams, I think it kind of speaks for itself. Talk about protecting the home turf. Undefeated this year at home in the Dome, and uh, that's really important. Well, it's, it's always been critical. I learned from the, the coach that I played for, that's what he always said, Daryl Mujer, is you gotta win your home games, and then you gotta go find a way to win a couple on the road. But uh, the, dome, the Dome does give us an advantage, but uh, it's a home field advantage, and that's what it's supposed to do. And fortunately, we've uh, protected that home field advantage, and, and we still have work to do. Coming up later on in the show, we have a story on uh, Jim Jermeyer. He's the new president for the UNI Foundation, and his father, Jersey, been a big part of this football program and athletic department for many years. Uh, just talk about why that's a special connection to, to the Panther Athletic family. Well, Jersey and Joanne, you can't say one without the other. True. And uh, all I know is this, they're very important to myself personally as much as they are to this program. Jersey was here as an associate D when I got here as a student. And then, uh, you know, he was under Bob Bowlesby. He's been around here a long time, and, and uh, he means a lot. He's really helped build this program, every program, built this, helped build this athletic department, helped connect it to our community. Uh, he's, he's that piece of the puzzle that kind of tied the community to the university at a very critical time. And now he's that person that, that uh, we all have such great regard for. And uh, both Jersey and Joanne are very special to myself and to this program. We also have a story coming up here on Jared Brinkman, and he's another Panther that's been in the family for a long time. We got some pictures of him as a little kid uh, coming to Panther football games. Well, his dad, his dad played here, and his uncle played here, uh, and I they're both both were linebackers for us. And uh, I can remember his, his would be his grandfather now, uh, their dad, and uh, they have a lot of purple in their blood. But uh, he's much like his dad. I mean, they're just hardworking show up, work hard in the off season, don't ask for anything, very humble, but are great Panthers. He's a huge part of this defense, isn't he? He is the middle of the defense. <laughs> he is the piece that holds it all together, being the nose tackle. Here's that story on Jared Brinkman and what he means to the UNI Panther football team this season.